Hey guys, it's Ricky. Welcome back to Getting Sticky with Ricky. Thanks for tuning in to this week's tip video. I just want to start off by saying thank you very much. This Thanksgiving, I hit 50 subscribers to my channel. Uh, so, snaps for me. Now, there's a lot of other YouTubers out there that are just getting started. They have less videos posted than I do, and they have subscribers out the rear end, um, which is good for them. Uh, I'm a little jealous. So, I'm asking my friends, my family, my fans, Share my videos, help me grow my channel. Because I have a goal that I wanna hit at least 100 subscribers by January 1st. So if you'd help me out, I'd really appreciate it. I do take requests for food that I'm going to be making. I have a friend, Megan, she shared one of my videos. I saw that on her Facebook page, so I asked her what recipe she would like me to make, uh, and she asked for a gourmet grilled cheese and tomato sandwich. So at one point this month, we're gonna be doing that. Just for you, Megan, so I appreciate it. Thank you very much. This week's tip video, we're gonna be breaking down a whole chicken. Oh. Why do you ask? Well, obviously this week, I'm going to be making a recipe with chicken. I only need about two and a half cups of chicken for it. Uh, I don't care about white meat or dark meat. I'll use both. I have a problem with spending money, more money on chicken that's been broken down for me. This five pound bird was $5 from the store. Now. I'm getting white meat and dark meat on it, obviously. I don't care. In this recipe, I'm actually going to be using a blend of chicken. I looked in the grocery store, and for two pounds of white meat, those mofos were charging almost $5 just for two pounds of white meat. I'm gonna get more than two pounds of white meat out of this, uh, and it'll be less money and cost effective. So, but I'm not gonna tell you what I'm making this week. You can come back on Friday to check that out. Um, this recipe is gonna take a little bit of time. There's a couple steps to it. So it's gonna take me a little bit longer to edit because I'm no pro, obviously, as you can tell from my past videos, my blurry videos last week, which I'm sorry for. Anyway, I digress. I used to be a GM at Boston Market for a long time. The crew member there in the beginning for a short amount of time before I got GM. So I have no problem with breaking down a whole chicken. It's easy. I'm breaking this whole chicken down today and we're gonna show you how to do it. We're gonna do it in one take. So let's get started. First thing you want to start off with is make sure you get yourself a cutting board, okay? I put always put a towel underneath my cutting boards. It keeps the cutting board from sliding while you're trying to, you know, work your meat or handle whatever you're cutting. For this particular cutting board, I really don't need the towel because this great brand by Pampered Chef has this little rubber thing here, uh, which is actually, you can actually measure your cuts along here, but they act as grippers on the table, so doesn't move, which is great. We're actually gonna do this without the towel so you can see how effective this cutting board is. Uh, and maybe Pampered Chef will actually see my video and say, hey, let's sponsor this crackhead. If you don't have any cutting board with a rubber gripper, I strongly suggest using a towel. You need a sharp butcher carving knife. All right? And get yourself one whole chicken. Place your chicken on the cutting board, however you wanna do it. I'm gonna do it hor like parallel, horizontally, like long ways, here we go. That way you have more room to work with. Um, you can use rubber gloves for this if you want. I'm gonna wash my hands afterwards, so it really doesn't matter if I'm handling this raw chicken. My sink's right there. You really wanna be careful, cause salmonella. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start off, you see how obviously, just like our skin, it's connected everywhere. There's a skin here between the thigh and leg and the breast. If you can see that, right here, somewhere around there. All right, they're on both sides. So what you wanna do, because the meat's not connected, it's just connected by the skin. You're gonna take your knife and you just wanna set, cut. We're gonna do it this way. Let's see if we can get it in, okay? You're gonna cut your skin right there. All right, start off. So your thigh is fully separated from, you can actually expose the thigh and the breast. See that? You wanna do it just like that. We're not cutting into the meat, we're just cutting the skin. All right, this is gonna act, it's gonna make every, our lives a lot easier when we go to cut the chicken. Well, we're, I guess we're cutting to cut the chicken as we speak, but let's do that again for the people that missed it the first time. If you don't know how to use a rewind button, just slice that skin to expose those legs, all right? And there's this membrane right here. You want to cut that too. Because it's going to separate the chicken. 
those breastuses from the legs. All right, so see how like we really opened up this whole cavity here. All right, take your knife. You're gonna start off at the top. And what I'm gonna do is we're gonna just make a little score so we can use that as our carving lines. You'll be able to see the middle of your breast because you got this ridge just like humans have here. You'll see, feel this ridge like a breastbone. Same thing, just cut, take the tip of your knife and I'm just gonna start off by cutting through the skin down that line. All right, so it'll be easier for me to break through that bone. So, so you see how I easily just cut the skin right open, separated the skin from top of the breast to the legs and cut right in between that breastbone there, okay? See that? If we're gonna take a knife, I'm going to stick it halfway into the breast, okay? Push it down until you hear the crunching. Let's see if we can hear the crunching, ready? Let me get my mic real close so you can hear it. I don't know if you heard that. That was like a one-time shot. Maybe not, okay? So you can hear that. So, put your knife, stab that mofo right in the middle of the chest, okay? Break the bone, and then just push down with your hand. So we went from center down. Now we're gonna go turn, to, I'm gonna turn my chicken sideways, and we're gonna go from center, I'm gonna take the palm of my hand, put it on the top of the blade, and then push to cut the top, just like that. And then I'm gonna go down the spine, two half chickens. Perfect, look at that, oh, let me do it like this. Two half chickens, how lovely. Take your chicken, take your knife, see how the skin is still connected here? The meat is not, but the skin is. Just gonna carve along that skin now you're gonna hit the spinal cord again. You're gonna hear that? That's the spine of the chicken. Palm of your hand on the top of the blade and just push down gently. Okay, voila. Let's try that again. Now this side, because of the way that I cut it, because I did such a good job cutting it, doesn't have the spinal cord. I left the spine on one side of the bird. All right, so this one, you should just be able to, maybe well, it was a little bit of a spine there. Just cut it just like that. Easy. See, I got two thighs. I got two big breasts. Is we're gonna take that spine out. You see a spine, you see the rib cage. We're just gonna cut right along that spine. Cut along that spine just like that. Okay. Spineless bird. We just deconstructed a whole bird in probably two minutes. What I wanna do is I actually wanna weigh these breastuses because at the grocery store, two pounds of white meat, they were charging $4. I got this whole bird for $5 with my scale, okay? Now we deboned the chicken for the most part. I mean, you have a little bit left here, but okay. This is two and a half pounds of white meat. And this is a pound and a half of dark meat, which means two and a half plus one and a half is two, three, four pounds of meat we got out of this, okay, for $5. Were we losing that poundage out? We got the giblets in the bag, we got the spine, there's some juices. So I'd say buy a whole bird, deconstruct that at home. You'll have uh, more meat for your buck. Now, if you're just particular about what type of chicken you like, then you don't mind spending the money. I mind spending that much because I can break a whole, like I said, break a whole chicken down by. There you have it, how to break it out of chicken. Subscribe to my channel, ring the bell so you get the notifications so you can see what we're making on Thursday. Sorry, what I'm making this week with it, the video is gonna be posted on Friday. If you have any tips you'd like to see me do for you, teach you any techniques, uh, put in the comment section below. Let me know if this video was helpful, I'd really appreciate it. Come back on Friday, check out the video that's gonna be posted for what we're utilizing this in. I'll give you a hint, okay? We're doing a comfort food with a cultural twist. Take a guess, let me know what you think it might be. For the one person, two people out there that know what I'm making, you're not allowed to say anything on the video. You're not allowed to say anything about what I'm making in the comment section. Please make a comment though still, because I'd really appreciate it. 
So there you have it, breaking down a whole chicken. Thanks for tuning in. I look forward to seeing you guys on Friday. Y'all have a blessed one.